students are actually dumping a lot of resources into their minds because there are too many resources, too many textbooks and online material available at the moment. So how do you think students should sort out the material when prepare for the exam? See, basically uh, for every subject, there will be two or three standard textbooks which are usually preferred. I am talking about this textbook. So the first thing that a student should do is he should identify for which subject, which textbook or which source should be taken. And once they identify these sources, they should start reading these sources. Any current updates should be made from the newspaper. We usually ask them to read the Hindu and the Indian Express. The Hindu because it is synonymous with civil services. Even a person who does not know anything about civils will ask you, are you reading Hindu? If you say that you are preparing for civils. So Hindu is a must. Indian Express because you need another perception. In Hindu, at times there is a left basis by us in the uh, editorial. So we ask them to read Indian Express as well. So they have to approach both Hindu and the Indian Express while reading for the exam. And they have to update. And most importantly, the PIB. PIB gives you almost 80% of the current information related to the government. So these sources are good enough if you properly utilize them for your updates. You don't need a lot of information. And then you have various government websites, intergovernmental organization websites that are good enough. But definitely not Wikipedia. Because, you know, this authentication of the source is very essential. When you take a stand in the mains exam, you should be able to substantiate it with a very authentic source. You have to mention the source only, then you get your marks. And uh, data is also equally important. If you quote data in the mains, you get more marks. And they, that data also should come from the government. That is the reason please rely more on government information.